after the transformation, telcos will be L-shaped, I would say. Uh, on the vertical axis of the L, they will be a digital business on their own. Uh, and on the horizontal axis, they will form basically the digital backbone of digitally transformed other industries, uh, other ecosystems coming together like smart cities or smart health or smart finance and the such. There are many ways uh, to get there. Um, uh, there are many approaches. But to be there in time, telcos need to make radical uh, changes. If you look at uh, the digital native companies, they are basically 10x, 100x, 1000x more efficient, more customer friendly, more customer oriented. Uh, they have not started with legacy. So basically, we need to throw legacy on board and do 10x, 100x as an ambition. So radical change is the way to get there. To be frank, I believe there will be no merger between traditional and digitalized business. There will be only digital uh, business or digital business models, digital ecosystems left where the telcos are participating in various uh, forms and, and fashions and various positions in there. And they are actually, when they really go back to their roots, in a very good position because it's a digital product or a very easily digitizable product. In the digital world, the core is thinking in ecosystems that are nested in itself and connected between them. So we are looking at the world, which is kind of a value fabric. So at the same time, you are a vendor or a provider of services in many different and fastly evolving services. So I think from that point of view, uh, it is a collaborative approach that you need in the creation of the basic infrastructure, in the creation of the technology, but also at the higher level in the creation of the business models. And last but not least, at the ultimate level in front of the customer, the creation of composite services, be it composite digital services or composite digital and physical services. Mm -hmm.